What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy and normally I would say from Wild Tech Designs, but today I'm going to go with Jeremy's World 10. And over on my new YouTube channel, you never know what you're going to get. Like my amazing outfit for the day. It's actually Friday and today is graduation day of my little Kendall who you've probably seen a bunch of times here on the channel. I'm super excited for that and that's awesome. She is graduating kindergarten and today we're gonna jump into this killer van there is a ton of stuff we did on this it's amazing it's beautiful enough jibber jabber and let's go check out this killer van All right guys, so like over at Jeremy's World 10, we like talking about all kinds of different things from RVs to vans. And it may be even like, well, what's the best wheel you can put on a van? Well, on this particular van, we went with the Method 701. Now what's great about this Method 701 is this does have the bead grip technology in there. What that allows you to do is run your tires at a lower pressure. Running your tires lower pressure off-road is definitely going to be your friend. It's going to give you more traction. And when you have a awesome lift kit, suspension package like the Baja Grocery Getter Kit, you're going to be able to go a lot faster off-road, getting you through that rough terrain, which is going to be a plus. And that's why I say, you know, you might put a locker in the back and you don't even need four-wheel drive. Well, this 701 is wrapped in a 285 7017 tire which looks completely just sexy on there. Now you may be asking, can I fit this size wheel and tire on my stock van? Well, heck, you probably could. Your fender might not look like this and you might not be able to turn, but hey, that's a minor technicality. What we did do on this is our Baja Grocery Getter Lift Kit. Let's talk about what's all involved in this sexy kit. Crisscross applesauce, we're gonna hang out down here. And uh, you know, congratulations Kendall for graduating kindergarten. That's hard these days, kindergarten, man. So this is our Baja Grocery Getter kit. What this kit is gonna consist of is, first of all, let's start with our beams. So these are a modified beam here by Weld Tech Designs. We're not using any drop down brackets. We are correcting all of your camber in the beam. That's gonna be a huge plus because we're not moving the pivot points, therefore creating additional stress on your frame caused by other people's kits that drop those brackets down. Another really important thing is if you have a 2008 and newer, it's gonna have the RSC on your van. This kit is also gonna not upset the RSC, which is really important. We don't want another light on in our dash. The next really important part on here is our extended radius arms. These radius arms are going to be nine inches longer than stock. They're also going to have a new radius arm bracket, which allows you to push that wheel farther forward. If you want to run a bigger tire than a 285, it is also possible to do that. And if you want to know how to run a 35 on your van, I'll throw up a card right here, boom, and you can go and check that out, how to run 35s on your Baja Grocery Getter Kit. The next thing we've done is we've added a larger coil spring and of course you know we love adding our Fox shocks to the front of this. We didn't stop there though in the front we also added our Fox steering stabilizer on the front of this which is going to make a big difference especially if you have a worn out suspension parts. You can see some of these parts may look a little bit tired and uh, it's going to kind of just stiffen up that front end which is always a plus. Now, there is more to this suspension, but that's in the back. We're gonna have to head back there to take a look what we did in the rear. So you can see that we have a ton of clearance in here. Now, this is actually our complete performance package. And the difference between a Baja Grocery Getter Kit and a complete performance package is going to be this rear progressive spring. Now, what's really nice about this progressive spring is all the lift is built into the spring. You can see that it has twice as many springs as your normal stock OEM pack, and that is going to help make your ride more progressive. Another really important thing on this is as you look up in the front, here you will also see that this has a double wrap on the front eye making the spring stronger because these springs can have a tendency to want to break if they're overloaded or overextended let's just say by just years of abuse Another good thing about this kit is it's also going to replace all of your bushings 
in your springs as well. This isn't using any part of the factory springs. These are all new components. So not only are we getting your vehicle lifted, but we're also doing a lot of preventative maintenance on there. Now that you have all new bushings in the rear, with that front kit, you got new I-beam pivot bushings and new radius arm bushings. So all of your bushings in your suspension are all now new and they're pretty much gonna probably last the rest of the lifetime of the van. Well, we didn't stop there. We kept tricking this thing out. We're gonna head maybe to the back of this, check out the rear bumper because if you know, or don't know this, if you run this 285 70 17 tire, this size tire is not gonna fit underneath it in the normal factory position for a spare. So we've put that on the rear of it. Let's go check that out. We come to the back of this, you can see that we have our spare tire on the rear of this, which is going to be really nice because like we said, it's not gonna fit underneath. So even if you don't have a jack, you call roadside assistance and you're like, hey, I need you to come out and change my spare. At least you have the spare tire to do that. You don't want to be stranded without it. Now, what's really nice about this is it's going to have the double latching lock mechanism on there, and it's going to swing up all the way out of the way, and then it's going to lock in place out of the way. Now, one other thing to keep in mind, if you're going to run larger than that 285 tire, please let us know because as you can see, we've tried to maximize the amount of space that you have and with minimal clearance there, if you try to put a 35 on it without letting us know, um, you're gonna run into some issues with your tire wanting to come around and hit the body. So just throwing down some knowledge there for you guys. So this is an Illumines box. This is really nice. You also have the ability to add shelves in here if you would like, and it also has the ability to run uh, additional storage mounts up on top. And another thing that we didn't do on this but i really like doing it is our aluminum table mount because you know that you want a table you get out to the trail and you're like man where do i put this thing and it stows really nice behind the box so we're going to go ahead and open this thing up all the way and you can see tons of room in here and then you have complete access to the rear which is going to be nice now you can see that this particular van They've started to do a build out in there and that looks really cool. We'll come back and check that out in a second, but it's gonna give you really nice access to the back. Looks like they've done some shelving in the rear and uh, I got my ax. I'm gonna go cut down some firewood, you know? I got my, go get a workout today. Let's go check out the front of this thing. On the front of this van though, we put a new leaning post on there and at the perfect height, everybody knows that when you're hanging out with your van, you just kind of want to hang out in front of it and look cool because chicks dig guys with vans. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. I'm going to be honest. I pull way more dudes than I do chicks with my van. Like every time I'm at the gas station, I got dudes rolling up like, bro, I love your van. I'm like, it's cool. You want to check it out? Come on. Anyways, we're gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna tell you about what we did on the front of this. So guys, this is our tube winch bumper. It also has the classic top on there. So normal tube winch bumper is going to stop. It's going to be that single tube. On this one though, we gotta watch out for this guy. All right, we're gonna pause for this state. Look at this, all right. This guy right here. If you wanna know why our bumpers look so damn sexy, it's all because of this guy. This is Donnie. He's the man at ECP who makes all my dreams come true. This guy's the man. So ECP powder coating, if you're in San Diego, you need a stuff powder coated, definitely hit them up. They make our parts look sexy, you know? We try. See, there goes another load of awesome parts. Gonna get powder coated by ECP powder coating. So that was fun guys, dude, see, Jeremy's World 10, you never know, it's not normal. Like we're just having fun, talking crazy videos. Oh look, see, the craziness, there goes Josh. Go-karts, you know, I don't know if you've seen that as well. We have Caden over at Growing Up Garage. This is just a shameless plug for different channels. Caden, Growing Up Garage, that is our nonprofit foundation at Weld Tech Designs, where we're trying to further the education of kids and teach them all about tools. A lot of fun using racing. So I think we were talking about a bumper, right? So there's so much going on on this, so we might as well start from the top 
and work our way down. So the first thing that we're gonna have on this is gonna be these HTX lights. These things are just beast lights. I wouldn't have even called them an HTX. I mean, it's just like beast light. It's so bright. I have three of these on the front of my SEMA van. It's amazing. So what is really nice about these lights is it's going to have the HID in the center. What that HID is going to do is it's gonna give you a ton of light really far out. That's the key to that. Now it has the LED ring on the outside of the light, which is going to give you your light for the first 25 yards or so. And that is going to be a big plus. So now you're getting your front light and your light even farther out. So that's what's nice. Now it's also going to be on two different switches. So you're able to control which light you want to use. It's not like you got to hit one switch and turn them both on. So that's going to definitely be a plus. The next thing we have as we're working our way down, we're talking about lights and we have these light force driving light. Now here's the key to this light. This key light has three different settings. So you can turn it on like a low beam. You could control this low beam and have it come on with your headlights. Now the key to this is because this light is below your headlights, you can have it on while driving on the highway have another switch inside to turn it up to the highest setting. This light is going to be one of my favorite lights and it's just that because I use it the most often. I'm driving on a dark stretch of highway. I want this on. I want to get the most light I possibly can. Now I also have the Vantage Optics headlights in my van. So I'm cheating a little bit. I got a lot of light, but these things are great and they bolt directly up to this bumper. What else bolts up to this bumper is going to be a winch. Who doesn't love a winch? Let's go check this thing out. On the front of this, we have a 10,000 pound Smitty built winch. Now we offer a couple different winches here at WellTech Designs between the Smitty built and a Warren winch. Both winches are going to be really good, but two very big different price points. This is also going to have a synthetic rope on there as well. And you know, as much as I would love to talk about this winch, I would probably love to show you more what it is capable of doing this and maybe even a worn winch. So if you would like to know more about winches, you'd like to see go us, us go out to the desert, do a whole video just on winches alone. Leave a comment down below. Tell us what you would like to see and how you would like us to do it. We'll go make that happen guys, because it's such a crucial part of having one of, you know, of your overland rig. It, it's just nice to have. It's that security, the insurance. So let us know down below and we can talk about that. Now this is going to mount really nice in this cradle on this bumper, giving you a ton of room in here in order to access it because you're going to need to be able to get to it in order to engage it or have it free spool. Now this one is all wired up. You can see we've wired all the lights, we've wired the winches, and it just looks completely sexy when I step back and look at it. I'm in love, you know? So that's not it. Well, let's go check out what's going on on the inside of this thing. The customer's been doing a really cool build on it, and I love showing off what you guys at home are doing on your van builds. Come on. This build out is really cool, and I'm gonna have to say, one of my favorite things about this build is it looks like it's using all reclaimed or recycled products. We're going with the shabby chic look. What do you guys think of that? See, I throw down all kinds of weird words over at Jeremy's World 10, but it's like, you know, just a normal like kitchen counter sort of that they, you know, put a sink in and a pump. It's really basic, but it's like, it's going to get the point done. They have the lighting in the ceiling. And you know, we have the world flattened out. So if you believe in a uh, flat world, I guess that's what uh, flat earth, that's what it looks like. But um, you know, we got our necessities. We got our almonds and our crackers. This is super cool, super simple in it. I mean, I dig this. Again, we got the tables on the inside. I think that the only thing that we missed on this particular van was it doesn't have a door hook. I'm gonna have to throw that in. We're gonna need to get one of those on this van. But um, this was a lot of fun walking through all of the things that we did here at Weld Tech Designs on this particular van build. And if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments down below. Otherwise, I know that you're going to go over to Jeremy's World 10. You're going to smash that subscribe button because you want to hang out with this crazy guy more. I mean, duh, who doesn't, right? 
And um, you've also smashed the subscribe button here at Weld Tech Designs. These guys are awesome, putting out content every week covering motorhomes, vans, bumpers, fun stuff. Dude, it's just a circle of fun right here at Weld Tech Designs, guys. Again, I'm Jeremy from Jeremy's World 10. I'll see you guys in the next video.